How's it going gamers? Chonga here once again and today for you guys I've got another episode of What's Happening in Gaming. It's a series I started last week on the Wednesday and today we don't have like a lot of news. We've got about four stories and yeah, the, but they're pretty good stories so let's get started. Now the first thing is we have been given the go-ahead for the R18 rating in Australia. Like one of my previous videos I said it was going through Parliament. It's been agreed upon and we will should get it January 1st next year. So even though we are going to miss out on some stuff this year for the rest of it, at least we know that starting January 1st next year we should end up yeah, getting R18 games. So it's good to sort of move on and at least now everyone that's participated in it actually knows that we're going to get it. So we don't need to worry about it and all that kind of stuff. We know it's moving forward. And since we're actually going to get one, it means that some MA15 games may be moved up to R18. So it, it will basically work out better for everyone. Some kids won't get to play games because when a parent sees a game that says R18, they're less likely to buy it than if they see it say MA15. Okay, so moving on to the other bit of news. Um, the Mass Effect 3 demo is live, obviously you can see by the gameplay. Uh, the download on the Xbox is 1.7 gig, and so yeah, if, if you're interested in Mass Effect 3 or you haven't heard about it, you want to give it a go, whatever, go download it. I think it's out on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. So yeah, 1.7 gig, and it basically the demo that I've seen when I played multiplayer with my friends, it was just going through waves taking on enemies, which was quite fun to do with four players, and you can still level up and get new unlocks and all that kind of stuff in the demo, so yeah, definitely go give that a try. The next bit of news is about a game called The Last of Us that's a PS3 exclusive made by Naughty Dog, who's the creators of the Uncharted series, and basically it's a zombie sort of a game. And um, basically there's been some details released and these details are that uh, you cannot regenerate health in the game, which I personally think is good in a zombie game because it's all about survival and all that kind of stuff. You don't just want to be regenerating health like in a first person shooter or whatever. So yeah, and also the other detail was the AI is a bit smarter and they won't like interrupt if you're in a stealth mode like trying to sneak around zombies or it can actually throw items at zombies if you're attacking or being attacked and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, when you're playing The Last of Us you won't have to worry about having some stupid bot running around alerting zombies or doing anything like that, which is probably a good thing. Okay, now to move on to the last bit of news. Um, the developers of Kane and Lynch Square Enix are making an open world game set in Hong Kong, and basically the storyline behind it is that you're an undercover cop and you go undercover into this gang, like it's supposed to be a really bad gang that does horrible things, and basically, yeah, you, you get in there and then you're going to try and take it down from the inside. It sounded like a pretty good thing, but um, there's only a live action trailer at the moment, but that looks really cool. I'll put a link to that and the main website below. And also, there's only screenshots as well, but there's no gameplay, but yeah, hopefully we'll get some gameplay soon because it looks like it could be a very interesting game. That brings us to the end of this week's episode of What's Happening in Gaming. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. And if you've got any comments on any of the topics I discussed, please leave them below, and I'll see you guys next time.